right guys we are back with another small kitchen organization video and this week we are focusing on the dollar tree i'm so excited for this video because i've actually never done a dollar tree organization on my channel you guys know i love amazon i love target i love the container store but that's not in everybody's budgets so i'm excited to bring you something a little bit different i had to think more outside the box for this video get a little bit creative because they just don't have the same selection you would find at the other stores so i hope you guys are excited i hope you enjoy this video if you enjoy small kitchen organization videos or just organization videos in general be sure to subscribe to my channel because i post a new one every single single week and let's just go ahead and get into it okay so these are all the things that i picked up at my dollar tree i had no idea that they sold craft wood and wood pieces like this so i'm really excited to do some diys with those and then i also picked up some glass containers i got these mop and broom holders which we're gonna try a couple of different things with and then i picked up some napkin holders which i think I have an idea for I've got some cute little containers a bunch of different sized bins this is meant to be a wall mount wire rack but i have an idea for that as well these items right here actually came from lowe's and that's because my dollar tree did not have them in stock but these look identical to the ones that are available at dollar tree so if you guys have those be sure to pick them up because for some reason they weren't at mine so i don't know if they're maybe like a hot commodity and that's why they were sold out but anyway, I had to pay more to get them at Lowe's, but they look pretty much exactly the same. So we're just going to pretend that those are from Dollar Tree as well. And then these I got from Michael's. I just needed some more hot glue for some of the things we're going to be doing today. These wooden dowels I may not end up using, but I got them just in case. And then this is actually just a piece of wood we use to keep our sliding door closed, but I have an idea for that as well. So again, this is just an overview of everything we're going to be using today to organize. I have shown you guys so many different under the sink organization ideas in the past and my current system which you can see here is actually working really really well for me but I wanted to give you guys some ideas from the Dollar Tree so I thought that what I would do is take apart everything I have under there and reorganize it using only things from the Dollar Tree. So we're starting off strong here with something that did not really work out for me and that's not because the idea doesn't work it's because i just didn't have everything that i needed so these are mop and broom holders from the dollar tree i first tried to cut them with scissors and it wasn't working so i pulled out a razor i scored them and i cut them in half so i had two separate pieces and my idea was to stick them up underneath my kitchen sink and then put a wooden dowel between them so that i could hang my cleaning products but my wooden dowel was just too big so i couldn't properly demo this for you guys but i think this could work out really really well if you have the proper size wooden dowel which i just did not moving on we're going to use this shelf riser which again this one is from lowe's but it's identical to the one that is available on dollar tree and i love shelf risers i use them all the time and i like to use them because they help to utilize vertical space which you guys hear me say all the time and i'm just sticking another bin from the dollar tree on top of that it's not necessary to do this but i just like to do that when i'm sticking cleaning products together so that way if i'm looking for something i can just pull the whole bin out instead of having to dig around and potentially knock things over but then i'm also grabbing this glass jar from the dollar tree and i'm filling this up with my dishwasher tablets and for the bottom part of the shelf riser i am putting my extra sponges scrub daddies magic erasers the pink stuff a brush things like that and that will fit perfectly underneath the shelf riser and again this bin on top is not necessary but i just like it because i feel like i'm more likely to knock things over when i'm digging around for something than i am if i'm picking up a whole bin grabbing what i need and then putting it back but now i'm going to show you my idea for this step shelf I love using step shelves like this in my kitchen and my idea for this was to put three bins on it and have three separate tiers for things to go underneath your sink and I figured you could hot glue them to the step shelf and then they won't go anywhere but I didn't want to hot glue mine so I'm showing you guys that you can put three right here if you really wanted to and hot glue them to keep them in place but I ended up just doing two tiers and that worked out perfectly fine for me. 
And again, adding bins like these on top is not necessary. I just prefer it because I feel like it's easier to grab a bin. Like I said, also it adds just a little bit extra support for the things that you're putting onto this wire shelf because they could just fall through if they're not standing up perfectly and these bins just help prevent that. This whole under the sink organization would cost you $8.75 to use all the products that I'm showing you guys here. And I think it turned out really, really nice. And it's utilizing the vertical space under your sink and it was done on a budget. You guys know I love using the inside of cabinet doors in my organization videos, so I wanted to show you just an example with a wooden dowel and those two mop and broom holders. You could also stick them on the inside of your cabinet door and you can hang your cleaning supplies this way. So also this is a better visual of what I was trying to do at the top of my kitchen sink, but it just didn't work out. We're just going to pretend that that bin is not there underneath them. I didn't want to take it off since I'm not planning to leave it like this. I like the system I'm currently using. I found this wire rack with hooks in like the tools section of Dollar Tree. So I think it's meant for, I don't know, a garage organizing tools, or maybe you can hang your keys on it by your front door. But my idea for this was to, again, put this on the inside of a cabinet door and I'm using command hooks to install mine because I don't want to drill into my cabinets, but it does come with hardware. So if you'd prefer to install it that way, you can do that as well. But I like this for the inside of cabinet doors in this case, I'm hanging some of my cleaning supplies, like cleaning brushes and things like that from it. And this would be another option for inside of the cabinet door under your sink. I think this would work out really well. And then another idea I had thought of for this was to put it on the back wall of your kitchen, like on your backsplash. So again, I'm using command hooks to hang it up and I'm putting some of my cooking utensils here, things that I grab all the time when I'm cooking. And this would be helpful to get things off of your countertop and just save you a little bit of counter space if you are working with a very small kitchen. I also thought that you could hang your measuring cups and spoons from this as well, so I wanted to share that example. I love the idea of hanging baskets in your kitchen, so this bin from the Dollar Tree is perfect for that. It's a really good size. If it were me, I'd probably put two, one on top of the other, just for additional space, but you could store anything that you want in this. In this case, I showed you putting spices in it, but you could put your cooking utensils in here instead of hanging them from those other hooks. There's just so many different things you could do with a bin hanging in your kitchen if you are lacking cabinet space. I tried to not watch anybody else's Dollar Tree organization videos before I went to the store. I wanted to go in there with a blank slate and just find things on my own, um, but I have seen this DIY before. So full disclosure, I'm not the first person to come up with this idea. I've seen it before and I think it's really cute. It's also really easy and it was just kind of fun to do. So for this one, you'll need a hot glue gun and then you'll need these wooden crates that they sell at Dollar Tree along with two pieces of their craft wood. It is pretty self-explanatory how to do this if you're watching the video. So you're just going to kind of angle your bin down so that will create some support and then you're going to do as many tiers as you want. In this case, I did three tiers and I love doing things like this that are multiple tiers because that helps again to use that vertical space. You could also use hardware to build this if you wanted to, but I just use a hot glue gun and mine has been holding up perfectly fine. And I prefer the natural wood look, but if you like to paint things or if you like to stain things, you could do that with this. I've seen plenty of people do that and it turned out great and adorable. I think it looks good as is, but I'm sticking again my spices in here just as an example. But I also thought while I was doing this that this would be awesome in your bathroom. So I'm going to show you guys that example in a minute as well. If you have like a lot of serums or you need to get your toothpaste off the counter or you just have a lot of items in your bathroom and you don't have a lot of storage space, this would be perfect for that. So it's great for the kitchen. It's great for the bathroom and it will only cost you $6.25 to make, assuming you have a hot glue gun or hardware already ready to go. Kind of piggybacking off of that last DIY, 
I saw they had some hanging wood pieces and I felt like I could use those to create something you could hang in your kitchen, whether you use it in your pantry or you could hang it on that back kitchen wall similar to the basket and you could add some additional storage space. So I'm just hot gluing on two of the longer wider bins onto this and my example that I showed you was putting some pantry items on there but you could really store whatever you want in here assuming that it's not too heavy that it will break it but I really liked this idea and I feel like you could get pretty creative with this one as well. I would love for you guys to leave a comment down below letting me know what is your all-time favorite Dollar Tree hack. I, like I said, I don't go to Dollar Tree very often, so I would love for you to let me know what are your favorite items from Dollar Tree or what are your favorite DIYs you've seen from Dollar Tree, and maybe I will include them in a future video. So these bins come in a bunch of different sizes and I really like these because they're grippy on the bottom so they're non-slip and then they also have grip on the inside so for $1.25 this is a really really good deal. I like these bins a lot and I'm going to try to assemble them in this drawer to section the drawer out to organize like different cooking utensils and things like that. This kind of took me a minute to figure out which way I wanted to put the bins into this drawer, just which way they would fit best. It was kind of a struggle, but I like these bins because again, they have the grips on the bottoms. So even if they're not perfectly in your drawer, taking up all of the space, they will not move around. But I decided to add a couple of other bins as well that I had that would fit in there just to fill the space out a little bit better. I think of all the items that I bought at the Dollar Tree, these bins are probably the best quality. They're just so sturdy. Again, I love that they have the grips on the bottoms and on the insides. So if you are looking for bins like these, I would definitely recommend these over anything you buy on Amazon. Something else that I've kind of seen floating around with um, Dollar Tree organization is to take one of these step shelves and you break off the legs and then you can put it in your drawer upside down mine obviously won't close because I did not break the legs off but you can put it in upside down and then you can use it to organize spices so you can see them all laying flat and you'd have multiple tiers so I think this is a really good idea I just um, I'm not going to break the legs off of my step shelf, but in case you guys needed a drawer idea for your spices to organize them, this is a good one, and this would fit quite a few. You can even put some on the front. I didn't, but you can put some on the front as well. And if I did break the legs off, I would still be able to close my drawer. But I feel like they make products just like this that they sell on Amazon that's meant to go in your drawer and organize your spices in this way, but they're much, much more pricey. So this is a great cost savings if you're looking for something like that. I have something very, very similar to the step shelf, but mine just isn't wire. And I think I got this from Home Goods, and I organized all these spices in a kitchen organization video a while ago. If I can find that one, I will link it in the cards right here, but you can use this for the exact same thing and it's just a really good way to utilize your space in your pantry or in your countertop if that's where you prefer to store your spices. You can see them better this way and nothing gets lost. You don't have to dig around and you also don't need to have special containers in order to use something like this. You can just use whatever containers your spices came in and they're totally fine that way. They don't need to all match in order to fit onto the spice rack. So 
this um, obviously is a lot cheaper than the one that I have so $1.25 for this is a really good price especially considering you can use it a multitude of ways you can use it to organize spices you can use it to organize vitamins you can use it to just organize cans in your pantry really anything I've also used mine in the past in my husband's like protein cabinet to organize some of his things so this is a very versatile product for only $1.25 this next idea is to take the napkin holders at the Dollar Tree and you can either zip tie them together really tightly or you can hot glue them. I'm hot gluing mine in this case. I only bought two of them to show you this example, but this would work best if you bought a bunch of them and kind of lined them up. So the thing that I'm going to show you using these four is either your pots and pan lids. This would be a good way to store those so they're stored vertically and you can grab them easily. And then the other thing that I thought of was if you needed storage for things like bakeware, so I'm putting my wire racks in there and then a muffin tin, and I have bought organizers like this in the past and they were pretty pricey. So for $1.25 for each napkin holder, this is definitely a good deal. completely torn apart my kitchen for this video we are all done these are all the organization ideas i was able to come up with with all the things i was able to find at my dollar tree again my dollar tree is kind of a limited selection it's kind of small i don't really have a good dollar tree anywhere around me so i made the best out of what i was able to find and i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it gave you some ideas i think my personal favorite of all these ideas was this three-tiered shelf i think it's so adorable i like mine just natural but you could paint this you could stain it you could do a bunch of different things with this it's really versatile you can use it all over your house my son actually already claimed this one because he wants to organize his football cards in it so i think it's actually the perfect size for that so he's going to be really excited when he gets home from school that he can have it now now that i'm all set but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new to my channel and you enjoy organization videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and turn your notification bells on so you don't miss any of my future uploads. I do upload a new video every single Wednesday, so make sure you check back here on Wednesdays if you're looking for some new ideas. Again, thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll come back again next week for another video.